God to our friends, our sisters, and to everybody. So, for better understanding, I would like to give you two illustrations. In 1943, there was a great famine in Bengal. Many people were dying because there was no food to eat. One day, a beggar came to Subash. The beggar's hands were lean. His steps were weak. He stretched out his hand asking for help. Subash, he searched his pocket for some money, but there was not even a single coin in his pocket. He did not want to send the poor man away without giving him anything. Subash had a good heart. He took the poor man's hands in his arm and said, Do not be angry with me, brother. I have nothing with me. The poor man smiled as he whispered in reply, Thank you for calling me brother. That is a great gift. So friends, that is the way to behave when we can't help others, don't you think? We must not hurt the feelings. Kindness is a language which the dead can hear, the blind can read. Remember the story of Andrews and the lion? The lion was in great pain, and Andrews was kind enough to remove the nails from his bow. In return, when Andrews was caught in front of the hungry lion, everybody thought that the lion would tear Andrews to pieces. But the lion refused Andrews. Why? Because he was the same lion to whom Andrews had shown kindness. What about the Aesop's fable in which the wind and the sun argued over which was the stronger? The wind challenged the sun. Do you see the man down there on the rock? I can make him take his coat off quicker than you can. The sun agreed and went behind a cloud while the wind blew up the storm. However, the harder the wind blew, the firmer the old man his coat around him. Eventually, the wind gave up and the sun came out from behind a cloud and kindly smiled upon the old man. Before long, the old man mopped his bro, took his god off, and strolled on his way. You know what? The sun knew the secret. Word, friendliness, gentle touch are always, by far, greater than those which are harsh and forceful ones. Today, God wants to reach out his love through us so that others should be able to meet God in us. In our actions, in our words, let's think of that. After all, words have the power to hurt or heal other people. When we say good words to others, we will feel better about ourselves. And it will also help others feel better about themselves. Everybody needs to hear kind words, and that's exactly the kind of words that you hear from us. Today, God wants to reach out his love to us. And there are many people standing in the corner waiting to experience what it means to be loved and cared for. And if we, if we show our kindness to others, it will help them feel better. Let us be the living expression of God's kindness in our face, in our smiles, and in our hearts. I believe every person has a heart, and if we can reach it, we can make a difference. So today, I want to encourage every one of you. And let's ask God to help us to be good, kind, and helpful to others. So, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you that we can all come here together in your presence to listen to your word. We ask you to help us to be good, kind, and helpful to others, so that we may reflect your love in us. Give us the strength to do our best for you. We ask you that you will enable us to grow more loving every day. Let your presence, your guidance, be with us through the day. We submit the rest of the day in your name. In your name we pray. Amen.
help us to keep in our heart and help, help us to do it in practice.